and welcome, hi, welcome to Movies to Go to the Movies for, episode 3. My name is Dustin Hahn, and this is Jordan Bates. Today, on, on this show, we review movies. Our first movie that we're going to be reviewing is an, Os an Oscar, try uh, trying to be an Oscar award winning snooze fest, and it is called A Fault in Our Stars. It's basically just a remake of Romeo and Juliet. A girl meets a guy, a guy meets a girl, they fall in love, but they can't be together because they both have cancer. Jordan, you had cancer. Yeah, uh, as you know, Dustin, when I was in high school, I had a deadly form of skin cancer called melanoma. So this one was um, a tough one for me to sit through. Sad. Yeah. I think that next week we could do something that you like. Like, we could do a movie about The Rock, because you love The Rock. Yeah, I like The Rock. Yeah, yeah we'll do a rock movie because you, cause you have cancer. No, I don't have cancer. I had, I had cancer. Yeah, but you might get it again. I give Fault in Our Stars zero stars because of all its faults. Come on, Hollywood. Can't you think of an original idea already? Our next film is Michael Bay's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this looks like the best film so far. The best film yet, with, a, with really good CGI involved. Mm -hmm. The Ninja Turtles have full lips and they look like real people now. Mm -hmm. a real, real turtle people now. They're like they're real teenage teenagers trying trying to be turtles. They're also uh, they're also from from space, which makes sense because nin people who are, look like turtles should be from space. So this makes the movie a lot more authentic and realistic. Jordan, there's a scene in the first Ninja Turtles where April O'Neil is giving Raphael a bath. Thank you, Jordan. Megan Fox is an amazing actress. They're ninjas. I'm so. Excited to see her slither her way into that yellow slick suit. Classically in the comic books, April O'Neil is in a yellow suit. It looks like a banana. I like bananas a lot. Thank you, Jordan. Michael Bay is a trusted director and filmmaker. Transformers is also one of the best films of all time. This, uh, as, a, as a series. I'm excited to see this film, The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's going to get five stars from me. Now we'll be opening up the Movies to Go to the Movies Board Vault. We'll be reviewing old classic films and seeing if they really stand the test of time. Today we're going to be reviewing a old horror classic, Psycho, starring Vince Vaughn and Alfred Hitchcock. To me, this movie is a one-off masterpiece. Every shot, the mise-en-scene, the lighting, wonderful, brilliant, dramatic, ominous, decadent, delicate, but texturized. That's right, Jordan. No one has ever made a movie like Psycho before. When you as a movie man can take the simple premise of the horrific murder of a young lady and stretch that out to nearly two hours, what you've accomplished is something special. And that's not, it isn't lost on me, what you've done. It isn't lost on me. Wow. Vince Vaughn and Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho is a horrifyingly scary movie. This is a movie that everybody should see if they consider themselves movieites. Go see Psycho, starring Vince Vaughn and Alfred Hitchcock. I would give it five stars. Not enough. There's not enough stars in the sky. We'll see you next time on Movies to Go to the Movies for. Bye. Goodbye. Now let's look at a clip of, of the movie. Clap, clap!